Well, it's a space that allows individuals to bring forth their kind of wildest fantasies and make them uh, a reality in a safe space. Uh, and so what I find is you become drawn into a family, a family of like-minded weirdos. And, um, and what I've discovered is that the people who come to visit, um, you know, are, are really really find that endearing and uh, they're moved and touched and drawn into it and I think inspired. I wouldn't be surprised if, um, you know, it's from witnessing uh, strange acts that the general public uh, find themselves um, wanting to create their own act and that way I guess uh, it, spreads, it spreads that kind of energy and um, creative uh, possibility, yeah. So throughout the community, I think it's a wonderful thing. Um, well, it's a it's a creative uh, it's a creative village, and first of all, it started off with just the village. Yeah, I don't think it was actually sponsored that much by any council and that and they did ask Edinburgh, they asked the council if they could use the space so it was quite small and uh, it was right opposite the school where my daughter went and, and they were pretty interested in it, yeah, so that's why I sort of came. So the music acts and sometimes if I can go and see a play that's great, um, they are the acts that I love and, and looking out for something very unique, very particular. <laughs> It's extraordinary and exciting and, and bizarre and unpredictable. Unpredictable, that's my word, yeah. 